Have you ever been using your parents' phone to play a game and just before you reach the final stage, it goes blank? Why do we have to charge it up and how does that even work? Well, that's today's question. And luckily, we have scientists Ava and Zara here to explain that. Explain that. With five random things. Today's question. How does a phone get charged up? Today's things? Plastic fork, pipe cleaner, squirt bottle, Q-tip, condom a cup. Let's do it. What are the five random things? Three, two, one, up! Uh! <laughs> so, we have a condom cup. Very useful. Squeeze bottle of some sort. Up. Oh. Uh, uh, pipe cleaner, but uh, Q-tip. Oh, Q-tip. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then this is a pipe cleaner. And then we have a fork. Okay. Plastic fork. And you guys will use these things to try to answer how does a phone get charged up? How does a phone get charged up? Okay, okay, wait, so okay. This, is this, is, this is the outlet. That's the outlet. outlet. Boom! Uh, wait. <laughs> got to say. So just like Avon Zara said, we have our phone and when you need to charge it, you plug it in so we can find an outlet because there's energy in an outlet. We can charge our, plug our charger in there, you can plug your charger into usually the bottom of your phone and it charges up. But something really interesting happens. There's some energy that can go through our wire and go into our phone, but where does it go? There's something amazing about our phones that there's actually a rechargeable battery in there. So why don't we grab a battery and talk about that. Let's see what it can actually do. Here I have it's a regular old battery. There's one of these in our phone, but it's rechargeable. And our phone is rechargeable. But how a battery works is basically there's a lot of energy in one side called electrons. And all they're trying to do is get to the other side where they need something to go through. They need something to use. In our phone, we can use apps, we can check the weather, there's a circuit. We can use the energy and do awesome stuff with it. So why don't we check out one of these snap circuits where it's snapped, it's connected, just like when we plug in our charger, it's connected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put the battery in here and let's see what happens. It looks like there's another spot. I can put this other battery. 
Uh, nothing's happening. Kind of just like when you charge your phone, you might have to turn it on again. This circuit has a button. Let's press the power button and see what happens. Now this thing spins. And it looks like this fits right on top. What do you think would happen if we turned on our circuit with this red thing on top? Let's see if we can use these electrons in a fun way. Three, two, one. Let's charge up our phone! Huh. Oh, pretty cool! That's pretty cool. At home, grab some random things, see how long it takes you to put them in a bucket. That's charging up your battery. Then dump them all over the floor again and see how long it takes to charge again.